Hi, Stampin' Friends. Sandy McIver here. Welcome back. I hope you're having a great week. Today I'm going to share some projects that I created with the new Simon Says Never Quit Swimming stamp set. I'm going to place my stencil, it's the waves from Simon Says Stamps, inside my Tim Holtz splat box and I'm going to spray it with the Pixie Spray and this keeps it secure for me while I'm going to be working with brushes and doing some blending. So I use some repositionable tape to tape my card front down onto my work surface, then I put the sprayed stencil over top and I like to add a little bit of extra protection with my post-it note tape just to hold everything in place. I'm working with two of the Simon Says stamp colors, Andre Blue and The Mint, and I'm using the life-changing brushes to add a bunch of color for my background. And I did this on all three cards, and I did two of them the same as this one, and then in just a minute here I'm going to show you how I did the second one. <clears throat> Excuse me. You'll see that I'm also um, stamping off with my brush before I go in. I find that that eliminates getting a great big splatter of color where you perhaps don't want it and evens out my blending a little bit. So I'm just working my way through and now I'm going to show you what I created. There we go. There's the first background. Isn't it pretty? Love those waves! For the second one that has a little octopus behind it, I did a one and a half inch strip. So basically I used my post-it note tape again and I counted out six of my little squares and blocked it off and using the same ink again and my life-changing brushes, they really are life-changing, they're amazing if you haven't tried them yet. And I'm adding the two colors again. Again, it is Audrey Blue and Mint from Simon Says Stamp. And there we go. This adorable new stamp set has all kinds of cute little sea creatures and I'm going to be using four of them on three of the cards today and you'll see that I stamped with Memento onto a piece of Nina Solar White and it's 80 pound and I'm going to be coloring with my Copics. And I'm starting with the light color and I have put the lid up for each one of them so I don't have to keep telling you the colors. And I have sped this up obviously so that uh, there's a little bit of a time lapse there going on with my coloring. But you'll see how I start by flooding the area with the lightest color. And then I'm coming back with the second color and I'm adding some highlights. And I'm going to leave the center kind of left portion on the light side because that's where I want my uh, light force to be. And then I'm coming in with my third color, coloring just around the edges and adding some highlights and I'm going to go back with my first one. There we go, I zoomed in finally. So R81 is what I'm using for this one to do my blending. And I am going to walk you through each one of these little guys because I get lots of emails asking for uh, how did I color these and which colors did I use? So I decided to do this video and we're going to color all six of these images. Uh, each one is different, using different colors of course, but the technique is basically the same. I'm starting with the lightest color, working my way into the darker one. And the Never Quit Swimming stamp set is part of a new release from Simon Says. It's starting today, July the 24th. And so hop down underneath, uh, there's a link underneath this video to my blog where I have all of the new items listed. And of course, you know that they sell out quite quickly. So if you're interested in these, I would suggest ordering them soon. I've waited a couple of days and been very unhappy because it's all been on back order. So just a heads up on that. So I'm switching over to my yellow flower, flower fish, my little blowfish. And again, the light color going to the medium. And when we get up to the dolphin, I'm going to show you how to use uh, what Copic calls a blending tool. I call it the removal tool to add some highlights instead of doing what I'm doing on these where I'm just leaving a spot a lighter color. There are a couple different ways that you can do this, but when you have all those little dots in the middle, it's kind of hard to use the blending tool, so that's why I chose to go the way I did. Okay, up to the turtle, and I'm going to use green and turquoise, and you'll notice that I keep showing you little cards with colors. When I'm doing my coloring, I cut a big piece of the Nina, and I do my sample colors at the top, and I write the numbers down, and then that way I know when I go to make my card and I'm going to do my video, I know which colors I used um, so that I can record them, and I just find that kind of a 
fail-safe way of being able to tell you actually which colors I used. Switching over to the turquoise for part of his shell. I like bright things, so as you can tell, I'm making all three of these nice and bright. And I like green and teal together. They're pretty. Or turquoise, sorry. And I'm going in with my medium color to add the highlights. And I used the same colors on my fish and went back and used the different colors that coordinate with them to add the dots. So for the yellow fish, I used the greens to do all the little circles. And I did the light and the medium green. And then I used the yellow on the pink fish. And again, this time I used the medium yellow, the Y15. And I'm going to come back and highlight with the Y19. I wanted it a little bit brighter so it would stand out a bit more. And then I'm going to use the pink on the green fish. And I think I used, yeah, I used the lightest one and the medium one. And I used the medium pink for all of the fish lips as well. And there we go. So up to the octopus. And I have to tell you, I accidentally grabbed the wrong color of purple. The beginning color should be V12, not EV, BV13. And so this really changed the color of my octopus. And you will notice that when you see the pictures that are on my blog compared to this video. But it's all right. It just kind of shows you a couple of different variations of the purples that you could use for your little octopus. There we go. So I'm going to the medium color now and adding some of my highlights. Figure out where your shadows are going to be. And then I'm going to pop in with my darkest one. Oh, sorry about the focus there. I have a very sensitive focus on my camera. It wants something dark to look at, not white. And there was a little bit too much white in that picture. So now I'm blending. And this is where I run into the problem where it gets really, really, really dark. And so I run and get my blending tool, which is actually a removal tool. So don't use this too close to the edge of your image. Otherwise, it'll push the ink right out for you. And what it does is it pushes the ink out of, where, of the place that you're working. So you see how his face got lighter? And I can add the highlights in his little legs too. So now I'm going back with the turquoise and I added all the dots to him as well. And I'm using the same light turquoise for my dolphin. So I'm flooding him with the entire light color. Then I'm going to come back in with the medium, the BG45. And I'm going to add some of my shadows. And this one I'm going to highlight with the blending pen, the zero. So I'm not paying too much attention to um, how much highlights I'm putting in or how many shadows because I'm going to blend it out. So here we go. I'm blending all of those little pieces together. And I'm using the middle one down on the tail to make it a tiny little bit darker. And now I'm coming back in with my blending tool and I'm going to lighten this up in the spots where I want the highlights. So his tummy and then down his side, a little bit on his fins, and a little bit on his tail. And the cool thing about this is it makes it a little bit blotchy, so it really does look like fish. And for the final, I am going to take my white gel pen, and I'm going to add a few little dotty highlights. Secret to your gel pen, make sure it's warm. They don't work very well when they're cold. And I run it on, you saw, saw that I run it on my finger. I do that to get it started. I find I have good success with that. And I just think that this added the last little bit that each of these little images needed was a little bit of white highlights, especially on this little guy. Look how this pops. Just add those little dots. And my crazy focus on my camera. Again, sorry about that. And then for the dolphin, a bunch of his nose, a little bit of highlights on his fins, and then down by his tail. And there we go. There are no dies of yet for these little guys, so I fussy cut them out. And I like to use my embroidery scissors. They've got a bit of a curve on the end. And you'll see here, I take a black marker of some kind, and I go around the outside edge just to get rid of that white edge. And I work from the back. That way, if I slip with the marker, I'm not going to wreck my art piece. I added some foam tape to my card fronts, and they are three and three quarters by five, and I'm going to mat them onto an A2 size card base, and those are four and a quarter by 11 scored and folded at five and a half. And I took all three of my sentiments, and I white heat embossed them onto little scraps of black. I wanted them to pop a little bit, and I've got, you'll see I have foam tape on the back of everything, and I'm just attaching all of these little pieces to my cards. 
It's nice when you get all the pieces. It makes the finishing of the cards really quick and easy. There we go. All three of those are done. And then I am going to come in and I am using the Simon Says Raindrops Sequins. And I'm adding those as kind of little bubbles and embellishments all around my fish. And there are some great big white sequins in there as well. You'll see me using a couple of those. I really like those. And there's three different colors of white. And I think there's two colors of blue in there. So they go a long ways. Now that I have them all placed, I'm going to use my Simon's Craft Tacky Glue to position these all. And I'm not going to bore you with going through all three. I'm just going to do one for you. And here's all three of my finished cards. So as I said before, I have a list and a link to my blog underneath this video. You can just click on it and head on over. There's also some free PDF files for each of the cards. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. And until next time, have a happy stamping day and uh, toodles.